morning everybody and welcome to day two of Cheltenham if you don't know me and my family are currently staying away in Cheltenham for five nights and we are staying in an apartment if you've not watched Cheltenham day one watch it because I did do an apartment tour this apartment is so beautiful I love it so much here is mine and my sister's room and it's so lovely and I like, and there's so many mirrors in this apartment so it's perfect for taking like selfies and stuff um, but today, me and my family are going to be having like a walk around Cheltenham, I think, and just kind of getting to know our surroundings. Our apartment is beautiful. And I got up at around half eight this morning. I've done my hair and makeup. I also have my outfit on. I will do an OOTD very soon. But I curl my hair with my fabulous hair straighteners and it's kind of cooling down. But last night, I would see like straight away because me and my sister are sharing a bedroom if we've been on holiday before and, and we've shared a bed sometimes it can be really hard to get to sleep but i like your top that's nice you should wear this one or the one i had on the white one i've helped mum decide outfits today i feel like a fashion like a stylist but yeah so i got to sleep really easily but to be honest yesterday i was up since four o'clock because i did have work but i feel so much more awake today also yeah, my sunburn, like, under my gradual tan has been peeling. So it's basically been taking the layer of gradual tan off my arm, which it, it looks horrendous, but it'll all just have to peel off naturally and then I'll have to apply it again afterwards. So yeah, my arms are looking a bit awful, but it's fine. But anyway, I'm going to show you all an OOTD because I love my outfit so much and I feel very glam today. I think I've got, like, a full face of makeup on and I've curled my hair. I feel like a woman again it's weird outfit of the day a top is from primark and my mum actually got me this a couple of days ago and it's eight pounds it's like a wool kind of material but it's really nice and i don't have to wear a bra of it as well because like i'm part of the small boob gang anyway but it's really nice and comfortable and primark clothes are definitely a win-win at the moment and then i have my river island black pants on which i love but in case you're wondering the other gradual tan i use it's this Garnier Summer Body one. Here's my skincare drawer, by the way. It's it's this one. It's so good. And it has apricot oil in this one as well. It's like the medium one, I think. But yeah, but that looks horrendous at the minute, but who cares? But I need to pack my bag quickly because I did bring a couple of handbags, but in my speedy bag, it's used for travelling, but I'm taking in my Gucci one just for like out and about stuff. So this is this one, I've got like my bike card and all the boring stuff in there. I've got all my clothes lined up. A mixed range of Zara, PLT, Primark, Sheen and H&M. So yeah, and then my laptop's down there and stuff and just like clothes. But I will have to, I'll have to sort my handbag out. The perfume I've also brought with me, which I am obsessed with all the time. It's so gorgeous. I brought a Scandal perfume. It's not the original. I think it could be like the Scandal Paris or something. I, I'm not quite sure, but it smells unreal. If you like sweet smelling perfumes, you will love this. It smells unbelievable. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. I'm going to spray my perfume and then sort my handbag out. And then we are going to go out. So yeah. Just walking around and here are some of the houses. It's very peaceful and quiet, I think. Do you not think? Yeah. Not yeah but like it's very peaceful and very more like it's not really serious i don't i think compared to like other big cities i suppose it isn't really like a bigger place but yeah very nice we were just walking down and we've walked past a college which is like huge and it it looks really posh like it looks so nice um across the road but yeah that's it behind us we on our way to the city centre to have a look around and some shops there and stuff. Do you want to be in the vlog? And here's my mum. He watches my vlogs. I don't really like including my family in much of my vlogs. It's just because they're not really social media people, which is fair enough. But because we're going away, we might not add them in for a little bit. But yeah, so far, because we're like in the outskirts of Cheltenham, it's very quiet because we're heading to the city centre it's time to get a bit busy now but like which is obviously it, it's gonna happen isn't it because like that's where 
all the shops are and stuff. But yeah, it's a beautiful place and I highly recommend people to go here it's really nice. Well these buildings are. Wow. It reminds it reminds me of London a lot. They're like there's this lovely building just there before. So posh. So lovely. And look at this fountain and posh building. So cool. Oh, sorry, so nice. Wow, oh my god, he's picking up on the camera so well. So, like, there the he colour. is, Edward w Wilson. Edward Wilson, Captain Scotsman. Oh, wow, oh my god, that's so nice. Yeah, look at all those flowers as well. Huge, oh my god. We just started a little cafe and I'm preparing to go across on the way. They've got a solid caramel and peak and brownie. It's because I'm a bit hungry because yeah, I just had a croissant this morning, so I need this, but it's a bit of brownie. Yeah, yeah, look how good the coffees are. It smells They're very nice. Yeah. It's called Soho. Mm -hmm. That's the logo there. It's by Costas, but better than Costa, so. <laughs> the me mum was having a bit of like a shopping, a shopping spree. Yeah. She went to body shop and she got a body butter and they went to Tiger and I got a USB C. A USB cable for my laptop just because it's it's handy to have one and now we're in we're now going to TK Maxx have a look at the little stuff and and see what and see what I can find. But yeah. Um in John Lewis I also test a few perfumes and I have about four different perfumes on my arms, but I like the the Gucci Guilty one. It smells so nice, but I've got four different ones. But I tried a Chloe one and it actually honked. This actually smells really nice. But yeah, I was having a little look at all the stuff now. I'm in TK Maxx trying on some gym pants. For these are Under Armour 16.99. The colour looks really different on here, but more like a grey. But they're nice fit on me, but I'm not quite sure if I want them. They're an extra small. I'm not quite sure what's everybody's opinion. So I don't think I'm going to get these. I'm going to try some juicy picture ones as well. But they're in a size small, so hopefully they fit me. But these are really nice but it's too big but I do love the colour of them it, it doesn't have any an extra small but i had them online as well so I might have a look but I do like them but it's too big and really sad so I really wanted them it did a little bit of damage in H&M it's not all for me um, I did buy myself this kind of a lightish kind of coloured jacket in extra small, I tried it on in the shop, oh my god, I love it so much, I bought it. It's not like it me to buy myself jackets, but it's because I needed one. And then I've also bought a little crop top as well, this little green flower one. And the Bonnie's bought like a, a local cool ward, which is really nice, like a brownie one. But I'll have to show you it later and try it on, but it's so cute. But we're going to Primark because they're all obsessed with Primark, so I wish me luck. It looks like we're going to Nando's, but how cute is this eatery place? Five guys as well. I also bought some bralettes and Primark and hand sanitizer, that's all I got. I was very sensible, but hopefully you won't have to wait too long to get uh, to get in Nando's. But it is so cute for all the fairy lights. I'm an alchemist and I got a cherry drink, but I wasn't expecting this. Um, but it's really pretty. You ready? Oh, I do have a tattoo. Look at that. I'm excited now. <laughs> it's a bit smoky, mind. Yeah, try eyes. It's like in the air. That's nice, that. Oh my god, that's really nice. It's been ordered. I've got a chicken in the basket and I've also got this. It's called the cherry. What's it called again? Cherry. I'm not quite sure what it's called. The cherry poppins. Oh, it's got a raspberry gin and, and cherry syrup and strawberry in it and then in Primark I bought a bralette in Primark so These ones are £10 And I also got a jacket I'm going to show later but oh my god it's amazing <laughs> But yeah And look at the bar over there as well Our food has arrived, it literally so quick If we only got a chicken in the basket and that's the official place being burned. <laughs> it's not. And a lamb kofta for mum, but very nice. Lovely. We're yeah, having another drink break. I've got a rhubarb gin lemonade. It's got all our drinks. This is place here. Potatoes. They're £20 for all these drinks and these are just singles. So 
yeah very expensive but they're very nice and the mum tried to make me guess the flavour of the gin and I thought it was lemon one but it's really bad because all the lemons in it but yeah it's very nice and then we are probably we're going to go back to the apartment maybe but oh my god this bag is so heavy we're back in the apartment now and I'm going to show you all what I have bought because I did buy like a few things I didn't spend too much money I was quite sensible I say that every time I've been shopping but genuinely at this time I've actually been very 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 sensible with what I've bought and stuff so I'm just gonna perch you probably on here if I can because the lighting's good and I can sit down I don't have the H&M bag but I only actually bought a couple of things in H&M but I'm just gonna show you so firstly I could actually buy something like they're kind of different for me but as soon as I saw it I fell in love with it so I tried it on in the shop and luckily it really suited me but it's just gorgeous like what colour is this? A very lighty whitey cream. Stone. Oh yeah stone like a leather style a jacket honestly, honestly it's absolutely stunning. This is in extra small and it was 34 the 99 from H&M. I'm just gonna try it on. I love it so much. I think I suit it personally, but it may not be to everybody's taste, but it's so comfortable. It's actually really warm. It looks like this. I love it so much. Wait a minute. How can I do this? Will that work? It looks like this. I love it so much. And yeah, that was £35, which I think is a pretty good deal, to be honest, because sometimes, like, in Zara or something, it'll probably be it'll probably be most likely be around 60 pounds but i think for this so lovely and i will get a lot of use out of it because it's handy having a jacket with no hood kind of thing and it was a good bargain and also from h&m i actually bought this little greeny florally top for 6.99 was it 6.99 in a size 8 because it's not a size six but i think it'll fit me anyway it's so cute i will have to try this on and it'll look cute with black pants shorts jeans and stuff and i'll put little flowers on it but that was 6.99 i then also bought from tiger they're very very interesting by the way <laughs> a usb-c the charging cable because i needed one where it had a USB-C on one end and then normal USB on the other end like in case I need one for charging my laptop in the car because you have like a plug-in kind of charger thing in the car and it's 120 meters and this is four pounds so I'm going to be using this for my laptop it'll be very handy and it's 120 centimeters which is quite long for a charger so I'm very happy with that and then from TK Maxx I did actually buy some sunglasses these pink ones, three ninety nine. Can you believe it? I think they are in the kids kind of section. But how cool are these? Like, it's probably harder. It's probably harder to see, like, on the camera. But I actually used to use these. I'm three ninety nine. You can't go wrong. I think they were maybe in the kids because it did say like the children's accessories, like on the till kind of thing. But I love them so much. I feel very fashionable wearing them, are very geeky, but I really like them. I will take this tag off because yeah, these are the worst because they kind of leave a sticky kind of mark on the side of like the, the glasses arm, but I'll try to take it off. Then in Primark, I've got three. Oh my God, there's an aeroplane going up. Oh my God, it's so cool. Oh wow, anyway, in, in Primark I bought three bralettes for £10, can you believe? Three for £10 and these were actually in the underwear aisle but I'm not being funny but I'm going to wear these crop tops and three for ten is so good in extra small, a lovely kind of khaki green colour, a pinky colour and a cream colour. Bonnie has already said how she wants to wear the cream one, I was like no, you're not wearing it. Sometimes I will go into a wardrobe and I want to wear something and it's not a wardrobe because she's, I'd put it in her drawer or she's wearing it so I have to keep these in a, in a special hiding place but the quality is actually really good and they're going to be very comfortable to wear as well so I'm very excited to wear them and then finally in Primark 
they're very exciting again <laughs> hand sanitizer because it's one pound it's meant to be six pounds but the one pound i actually already have this and i need another one because it's running out and for a pound i mean come on it's a good buy so yeah but that's everything i bought i think i must have spent around i'm trying to think here like about 50 pounds which i don't think is too bad for all this stuff i mean i got a new jacket yeah, which is one thing I'm most excited about. I will try my greeny top on and show it to everybody who wants to see it. Because I'm sure you're all very excited to see it. I'm very trusted with my cable and stuff. And these bralettes as well. Because I'm going to be able to wear a crazy PJ tops, bralettes, like anything. It's multi-use kind of clothing item. But yeah, but so far, the Cheltenham is a lovely city. The area where we're saying that is... They're really nice and peaceful and quiet and it's more like a posher area but it's very nice and the shopping is quite good in Cheltenham the only thing is they don't have a Zara but I mean it's not the end of the world you can still do have like a TK Maxx a River Island a New Look a H&M and Primark so they've still got a decent amount of shops there um, and the Bista Village is actually I'm trying to think where is Bista Village I think it's like an hour's drive from us and be like an hour and 15 and it's actually one of the best design outlets in, in the uk but you probably won't go well let's just talk for going to places but i think we're possibly going to the cotswolds tomorrow i will be vlogging that as well tomorrow and I, i'm not quite sure where we're going on the other days maybe do a bit of shopping walking around visiting other places it's actually an outdoor pool like in the other city center of cheltenham and it looks really cool, so you might go there because we've all packed our swimming stuff, so it's quite exciting. Anyway, I'm gonna try this on for you guys. I'll be I'll be going up I'll be going up in my room. I've actually had my new Prima trainers on today. The first time I've ever I've ever worn them. It's these khaki greeny colour ones from TK Maxx for twenty pounds in the juniors. I bought them when I went to Newcastle to Bush Scott and I was very chuffed with them. Also, Bunny's bought the brownie cord, but are you not keeping it, are you? No. I'll have to give you the receipt for that then, before I forget. Because the change rooms are actually closed in H&M, which I was very surprised about, because, like, in most places, changing rooms are open now. But I'll find this receipt before I lose it. Oh, and it was paid on my card as well, so I'll have to come with you. Oh, well. I'm upstairs in our room now and I've got the top on. I think it's actually really cute. Um, at first, I wasn't really keen on this bit here, but I really like it now and I think it's really cute as well. So I'm going to show my sister it because she is very honest with like what I wear and, and if she doesn't like something, she'll just tell me straight up. So I'm going to like show my sister and I'll probably film like me showing a kind of thing but yeah i think it's really cute and it's a different color for me um i think it's pretty cute and i'll be able to wear it like this summertime and stuff oh i, I like it i mean yeah i love it but on yeah. what do you think of this yeah, i like it lovely yeah yeah do you think the color suits me yeah it's in size 8, but I think it's a really nice fit. Look at it. It's very nice. It looks like it's a bit like small. Yeah, but it's elasticated and it won't stretch. And I'll be able to wear like a bra of it as well, but... Well, if I even need to. I think it's alright on the sides. I don't know if the ruffles are a bit big. Well, that's just the style of the top, I think. I think it adds a bit of... Yeah, nice. Yeah? Yeah. I like it anyway. So, my well, sister approves of it anyway, which is good. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping this and I'm probably going to keep everything else. I think I'm going to first time Scott now because I've only first time him once today. I've not been able to speak to him properly today, so I'll probably first time him enjoying my top and stuff. But these are gorgeous, I love them. Um, And I've also got an orange and passion fruit a juice burst. A drink as well mm. and also the perfumes on my arm i'm still loving the gucci guilty one it smells so good 
I'm definitely asking. I'm definitely getting this for my birthday because it smells amazing. Yeah. Oh my god, it's beautiful. But anyway, I'm gonna go first time for a bit. And our parents have just gone to the St. Louis local around the corner because they were gonna have tea in the apartment today. I did vlog the Alchemist. We had a nice meal there, but it was gonna stay in today because we've had a, like a busy shopping day and we can't bother going out now, which is fair enough, you know. But yeah. I'll probably catch you all up in a in a wee bit. Time for skincare because I've taken my makeup off now. The on dry bags I've really shone through. But I'm just gonna kinda show you a quick kind of skincare routine. I'm really sorry if you can hear the fan like up there and stuff, but I can't help that. I'm afraid. But I've turned my hair back. My hair is still kinda of wavy, but like I really like it. Um and also I probably do a patch the I'll probably do a patch of foundation on my face, but I will be wetting my face first and then I will be using in my Mario Badescu Acne Facial Cleanser because it's one of a kind, I love it. It's the best kind of facial cleanser I have used in my opinion, so I'm just going to wet my face. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to open this up and put this on my face and then, because I have brought in my electric facial cleansing, um, it's been brushed with me by default. They actually sent me this a while back and I love it still. It's an item that I generally do use like every day. And I'm just going to go around on my face to get like any excess foundation or it makes sure you to go like around at the bottom of the chin in case I've missed any bits from where I've, I've used a guy in my cellar cleanse from what I take my makeup off with. And already it's full of foundation because it, it, it does take the excess kind of makeup off that I've missed with the, the makeup remover. Now I'm just going to be using my facial cloth. I've got a free pack from Home Bargains, it's part of the KHM range. I've got my kind of baby pink, this pink and like a red, but I gave the red one to my sister because she wanted one of her own. So I was a kind sister, I gave her one, you know. But, as you can see, there's tiny bit of foundation on there, which is obviously going to be normal because you can't get every scuff of makeup off. But my skin does feel so much better already. My skin has been breaking out a little bit because I'm due on soon. So, like, I've just been preparing my skin for the worst, really, because it does kind of break out a lot when I'm around that time, you know. But it's just the hormones and stuff, unfortunately. All oh, the joys of being a woman, honestly. You've actually got to put up with so much stuff. Me and my sister are going to be having a, a bolognese pasta bake for our tea tonight, and I think my parents having I think my parents are having salmon, so that's quite interesting. I, I've never been a fan of salmon. I mean, I wish I would like it, but it's, I'm not. I'm using them. I'm using the Neutrogena Clear and Defend Moisturizer. You know, because it's perfect for oily skin because it is a oil-free moisturizer and made for spot-prone skin, which is what my skin is like. It's actually terrible sometimes. It's not been too bad while the weather's been hot, but before that, oh my god, it's awful. And then finally, to finish off, I'm going to be using in my face facts the vitamin C eye cream because it does actually make your under eyes brighter. I'm just going to use a tiny blob and put it on both eyes. I'm rub it in and yeah, that's my skincare routine. So much better already. Hey everybody, I've had my tea now and it was delicious. We had a pasta bit like a, a bolognese pasta bake and I'm now gonna go in the shower but I am gonna end this vlog here because like you're not gonna do much of this evening, just kinda chilling. Maybe play a board game, you know, and I just wanna be able to relax and not have to worry about vlogging and stuff. And now but if you if you guys have enjoyed this vlog, make sure to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe and also leave a comment and I'll see you all in the next video.